Developed in the years after World War II, wheelchair fencing was first introduced in Rome in 1960 and has been part of the Paralympic program ever since. Similar to able body fencing, three types of weapon are used, foil, epe, and sabre. The aim is to hit your opponent with your weapon in the permitted target areas, the torso in the foil discipline, and anything above the waist in sabre and epe. The fencer's wheelchairs are fixed to the floor at an angle of 110 degrees to allow the fencer's sword arms to directly oppose each other. The distance between opponents is decided by the fencer with the shorter arm reach. Fencers may not rise from a seated position during the bout. All wheelchair fencers have an impairment of their legs or feet and compete in two classes, A and B. Fencers in category A have good trunk control, whereas category B athletes have an impairment that impacts their trunk or their fencing arm. Competitors are connected electronically to a scoring box that records hits on their opponent. In the initial rounds, each bout lasts three minutes and the first fencer to score five hits wins. In the knockout stages of the competition, each bout consists of three three-minute rounds, with the first to score 15 hits declared the winner. Teams consist of three fencers who face each member of the opposing team for three minutes or until one fencer reaches a multiple of five hits. The score accumulates until one team scores 45 hits or has the highest score when time runs out for the last bout. If scores are tied, a further minute of sudden death will be contested. Wheelchair fencing is close quarters combat at its best, a fierce, fast-moving battle of tactics and technique.